In this video, we're finishing the adding and subtracting polynomials worksheet on the CUDA software website. I'll leave a link in the description below as to how to access that. In number 21, we can see that we have two terms with k to the fourth, and we also have two terms with k to the third, a single term with k to the fifth, and a single term that's a constant. We're going to start with that k to the fifth since it's the greatest exponent. Subtracting that 8k to the fifth is the same as negative 8k to the fifth. Now we're going to combine the k to the fourths. We have k to the fourth plus a negative 5k to the fourth, which will result in a negative 4k to the fourth, so we can subtract that. So subtracting 4k to the fourth. And now combining the k to the third, or k cubed, we have negative 3k cubed plus 6k cubed, which will result in a positive 3k cubed. And finally, we can subtract that constant of 3. Our final answer in number 21 will be negative 8k to the fifth minus 4k to the fourth plus 3k to the third minus 3. In number 22, we have two terms with k to the fourth. We have two terms with k to the first, a single constant, and a single k squared. Starting with k to the fourth, we have 6k to the fourth minus 4k to the fourth, which will be 2k to the fourth. And then we have our single term of negative 10k squared, so we're going to subtract 10k squared. Then we can combine the k to the first terms, so negative 14k plus 7k is going to give us a negative 7k, so we'll subtract 7k. And then finally, we can subtract our constant of 14. 2k to the fourth minus 10k squared minus 7k minus 14 is the answer in number 22. Number 23, two terms with n squared, two terms with n to the first, and two terms that are constants. Starting with n squared, negative 7n squared minus a negative 14n squared is the same as adding a positive 14n squared, so that's going to be a positive 7n squared. And this is subtracting a negative since we're subtracting this polynomial and inside that polynomial that 14 n squared is subtracted. So if you want to, you can change this to addition and then switch the signs inside as well. Next, we're going to combine into the first terms. So we have 8 n plus 11 n, which will result in a 19 n. So we're going to add 19 n. And then finally, our constant, a negative 4 plus a negative 2 is a negative 6. So we'll subtract that positive 6. Moving on to number 24, we have one term with p to the fourth, two terms with p squared, and two terms with p to the fifth and a single constant. Remember, we're subtracting this polynomial, and subtracting it is the same as adding the opposite of that polynomial. So we'll just go ahead and distribute that negative to each of the terms. So remembering that, when we're combining, we're going to start with our p to the fifth terms, and we have negative 9p to the fifth plus a negative 5p to the fifth, or minus 5p to the fifth, and that's going to give us a negative 14p to the fifth. Then we can do our single term of 14p to the fourth. Then we'll deal with our p squared. So we have 11p squared, and we're subtracting that negative 11p squared, so this is going to be 11p squared plus 11p squared after we distribute that negative to get a positive 22p squared. And then finally, we can subtract the negative constant, which is the same as adding that positive constant. So negative 14p to the fifth plus 14p to the fourth plus 22p squared plus 14 is the solution for number 24. On number 25, I'm going to start by switching the signs in the second polynomial. So I'm adding this, so this becomes a positive, the 7 becomes negative, and the 2k squared becomes positive. Then I'll combine the like terms. Two terms with a k, two terms with k squared, and also we have two constants. Combining the k squareds first, k squared plus 2k squared is 3k squared. 8k plus 10k is 18k. 
and then negative 6 plus a negative 7 is a negative 13, so we're subtracting that positive 13. In number 26, as opposed to adding or subtracting two polynomials, we now have three. The same rules still apply. We're going to combine all of the like terms. So we have v squared, another v squared, and another v squared. We have one term with a single u in it, and we have two terms with uv, and another term with a u squared. So that u squared cannot be combined with anything else. Now notice this has changed slightly because as opposed to having one variable, we now have two to take into account. And if those variables are combined together, then the like terms have to have both of those same variables with the same type of exponent. That is why we can combine this negative 2 uv and the positive 4 uv together, since each u and v in that term has an exponent of 1. So I'm going to start with my v squared. I have negative 9v squared plus a v squared minus a v squared. So these v squareds will cancel out, so I'll be left with a negative 9v squared. So that takes care of my v squared terms. Now I will do the uv terms. I have negative 2uv plus 4uv, so that would be a positive 2uv. So I'm adding 2 times u times v. Now I will do my u squared term, which we're subtracting a 2u squared. So I'm going to do the same in the expression below. And then I'm going to subtract the 8u. So my final answer is negative 9v squared plus 2uv minus 2u squared minus 8u. I'm going to start by rewriting this and distributing the negative in the second polynomial and in the third. I'll have 4x squared plus 7x cubed times y squared plus a positive 6x squared plus a positive 7x cubed y squared plus a positive 4x plus a negative 10x plus a negative 9x squared. Now I can combine my x squared terms together and I can combine my x cubed y squared terms together since both x and y have the same exponents in each of the terms and I can combine my x to the first terms together. Starting with my x cubed y squared, I have 7x cubed times y squared plus 7x cubed times y squared. That's going to give me 14x cubed y squared. Then I have 4x squared plus 6x squared, which is 10x squared. And then I'm adding a negative 9x squared. So this is going to be a positive 1x squared, which we can write as x squared. Finally, I can do my x to the first terms, which is 4x plus negative 10x, which is going to result in subtracting a positive 6x. So my answer in number 27 is 14x cubed y squared plus x squared minus 6x. For number 28, I'm looking for all the terms with u to the third times v to the fourth. I have one in the first polynomial, one in the second polynomial, and one in the third polynomial. Next, I will look for any term with u to the first. I have one in the first polynomial and one in the second polynomial. u squared v squared is not in any of the other polynomials, so I have a single term in the second polynomial, and u to the fourth v squared is not in another polynomial, so again, I have another single term that cannot be combined. So starting with u to the third v to the fourth, I'm going to add negative 5u to the third v to the fourth, plus negative 5u to the third v to the fourth, which is negative 10u to the third v to the fourth, and then I'm going to add a positive 8 times u to the third v to the fourth to that, which will give me a negative 2u to the third v to the fourth. So I've taken care of those terms. Now I'll do my u to the fourth v squared, and that's a single term, so that's negative 8u to the fourth v squared, so I'm subtracting 8u to the fourth v squared, 
Then I'll do my next term with the most exponents. That's 8u squared b squared. So I'm adding 8u squared v squared. And then 9u minus 8u is a positive 1u. So I'm just adding u at the end. And that's my answer for number 28. We're going to again find those similar terms. So I'm going to start by looking for x times y to the third terms. I have 1 in the first polynomial, 1 in the second polynomial, and I also have 1 in the third polynomial. Next, I'm going to start by looking for the x to the fourth y to the third terms. I have 1 in the first polynomial, 0 in the second polynomial, and 1 in the third polynomial. And then you can see I have two single terms that cannot be combined, and that's y to the fourth, and then x to the fourth, y to the fourth. So I'm going to start with that 8x to the fourth, y to the fourth, and that's subtracted, so it's going to be a negative 8x to the fourth, y to the fourth. Then I'm going to do x to the fourth, y to the third terms. I have a negative 9x to the fourth, y to the third, plus a positive 3x to the fourth, y to the third, so that's going to be a negative 6x to the fourth, y to the third, and that will be subtracted, a positive 6x to the fourth, y to the third. Then I'll do my y to the fourth term, which is 7y to the fourth. And then finally, my xy to the third terms, where I have a negative 9, a positive 3, and a 2. Negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6, plus 2 is negative 4. So I will subtract that 4 x y to the third. And that's my solution for number 29. And lastly, in this video, number 30. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative in the last polynomial, since subtracting a polynomial is the same as adding the opposite of that polynomial. So I'm going to switch the signs for each of the terms inside. Now I will combine the like terms. y cubed occurs in the first and second polynomial. x to the fourth, y to the fourth occurs in the first polynomial, the second polynomial, and the third polynomial. Finally, x to the fourth, y to the third occurs twice in the second polynomial and then again in the last polynomial. I'm going to start with my x to the fourth, y to the fourth terms. I have negative 7 plus 4, which will give me a negative 3, and then I'm adding that to a negative 6. So this is going to be negative 9, x to the fourth, y to the fourth. Then I'm going to do x to the fourth, y to the third terms, where I have negative 10 plus a negative 1, which will result in a negative 11. So I'm going to subtract 11x to the fourth, y to the third, and then finally, my y to the third terms, I have 1y to the third plus 6y to the third, which will give me a positive 7y to the third. So the final answer in number 30 is negative 9, x to the fourth, y to the fourth, minus 11, x to the fourth, y to the third, plus 7, y to the third. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, any like and subscription is greatly appreciated. Also, feel free to comment below if you have any questions or you're confused about combining the like terms.